Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry Vegas and I do a bunch of art, craft and DIY tutorials on this channel. And today we are going to be doing a very requested video and that is doing the ocean landscape with resin. So I'm going to show you how you can get the excellent wave effect using resin and doing it in multiple layers. So let's get started. this project I am just going to be taping the underside of my board and I'm using a really high quality painters tape the more expensive basically means the better when it comes to when it comes to painters tape so I do recommend spending a little bit of money on it because it generally has better adhesives than the cheaper quality which will help you in the long run with not letting the resin seep underneath your tape Another tip when working with resin and using painter's tape is cut it as close to the edge as possible and make sure you don't leave any overhang. If you leave any overhang, you're going to have places where the resin can sit and pull and slowly seep underneath the tape and adhere to your chopping board. So I always recommend a really high quality tape and also making sure that it is as close to the edges as possible. I have decided to use four different bluey colors for this and I'm also using the Make Art Resin brand which I'll explain more about in a bit. So I'm using Sage from Just Resin, then I've got Powder Blue from Just Resin, I have got Arctic Escape from Art Tree Creations and then I've also got a really deep blue from Art Tree Creations but I can't remember what the name was so sorry about that and then I'm also going to have a bit of clear resin and I'm using uh, the Passion Cell White as well. I'm just starting with my darkest colour and slowly making my way down to my lightest colour. This is really important because this is sort of mimics how the ocean looks when it comes to the shoreline. It goes from really deep coming into really light. So you just want to do that. Don't be too careful. Um, you want to layer them over the top of each other so that way you get a really beautiful blending and an ombre effect and not just bold straight lines of colour. So I do tend to layer them up but it is always darkest going to lightest now this is my favorite little tip if you want to create a really cool blending is to use a little scraper or some paper like this and to run it across going sideways and you get such a gorgeous blending with all the colors and then I kept adding a bit more color on top until I got it to the point where I was happy and then I went back in with my little scraper as well and I just kept doing this until I got it to where I was really happy with the blending. Something to be mindful of when you are doing this is don't bring it too far down your board as resin does expand and you want to make sure it's not halfway down your board because it is only meant to be the handle. Then I just got my heat gun and I am just getting rid of any bubbles and also just blending it out even more. I use the gun to kind of push it in the direction that the waves would go and then I'm just going back in and making sure that it's perfect and all the sides and everything is covered. So I'm just adding this nozzle attachment to my heat gun and this is going to help me direct my white and create that sort of lacing effect. So on top of the clear border of resin that I've just put down, I'm running some white across that and then I'm going to be using my heat gun and blowing it in the direction and this is going to help separate the white and create that really foam wave look with the white over the top of the clear resin and this happens for two reasons one because of the heat gun pushing it and making the white spread and also because white's really dense and I'm putting it on top of clear resin which is um, not as dense because obviously it doesn't have the pigment into it and that's going to create that really cool wave effect. So I've let my board dry for 24 hours and it's time to do the second layer. 
And how you want to achieve this look is by layers. You can't do it all at one go because it just doesn't give you that great ocean effect because you find that the white will blend into the blue and it will become like a pastel blue. So if you ever want to achieve like that really beautiful ocean effect where the waves look super clear and crisp, it's by doing it in layers. I am really happy with how this is looking, even just like this without doing the next layer. This looks really good, but I do want to get those multiple waves coming in to my shoreline, which is my wood. So I'm going to be doing my second coat of resin and all I'm going to need for this is some clear resin and the white again. Now I'm just doing my second layer of resin and I'm just adding my nozzle on to my heat gun again and then adjusting it to about mid strength so it's not too hot because I don't want to accidentally burn my resin because I am using my heat gun to sort of push and separate. So make sure your heat gun isn't on hot if you have a heat gun um, that has a temperature control on it, which I do recommend. Then I've just added my white down or um, added my clear down, sorry. All I'm going to be using today is my white and my clear as I don't need to be using the blues because we've already got them down on the base. Now if you do get resin down anywhere you don't want, you can always just get some paper towel and some alcohol and wipe it off. Now I've got to admit, I was too heavy handed with my first um, pour of white. I should have done half this amount because as I go to blow it, it was a bit harder to separate and kind of did cover a bit too much. So I would say go half. Don't use as much white because when you do start to blow it, it really does spread out. Um, but yeah, I was a little bit too heavy handed, a bit too excited. And as you can see, it took quite a lot of effort to actually get it to separate and sell, but it did happen and it was really pretty. And then I'm just going along and kind of getting the wave how I want it to look. I always find that this can be a little bit challenging trying to make something look natural when it's not. Now if you do feel like you've got the resin in the wrong spot, the waves not forming how you want it to form, you can always just scrape a bit of it off and then just go in with your alcohol and your paper towel and just kind of shape it how you want. Don't feel like you have to pour it 100% right the first time. I do this trick a lot where I just go back in and kind of get it perfect. Now this is the correct amount of white you actually need to do your waves um, and not as heavy handed as I did it the first time. And then once again, just going back in with my heat gun and just blowing it to create that really cool cells and lacing effect. And your heat gun is perfect for this or a hairdryer if you don't have a heat gun. Um, and then you just sort of want to fiddle around until you get the waves to look how you want. But as you can see, it was so much easier to blow this and get that really gorgeous lacing effect when you use less white. just wanted to talk quickly about the sponsor of this video today and that is Make Art Resin. So this is a new brand of resin on the market and it's a brand that I absolutely love. So today I am using the Make Art Resin Art Resin. They also have a top coat and two types of casting, a deep pour casting and a shallow pour casting, which I will be doing videos on that to come. But I absolutely love this resin. I find it super simple to work with. It's perfect for chopping boards. Uh, so I just want to give a big thank you to them and I was actually involved in the process of when they were designing this resin I got to be involved in that so it is a resin that I really really love I will add all of their details in the description below but definitely go and check them out if you are looking for a great Australian brand of resin I was really happy with how my board was looking but I just wanted to add a third wave in because I just felt like it needed it. So I'm just repeating the exact same process. I left it for 24 hours once again and went back in for a third coat. You do not need to do this many layers, but I just really wanted a third wave in because I just felt like it needed it. But it was the exact same process. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to create those wave effects using resin. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe as I post tons of art, craft and DIY tutorials every single week. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that way you get notified every single time I post a new video. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, it really does help me out. Um, and it lets YouTube know to show this video to more people. So if you did enjoy it, please do hit that like button. And I also want to give a big thank you to Make Art Resin for sponsoring this video today. I absolutely love their resin. I was in the process, um, ha was involved in the process of making this resin. So I want to give a really big thank you to them. I'm going to add all of their links in the description below, but it's a resin that I highly recommend and really, really love.